The universe is supposed to have no limits, endless space, infinite distance, reality stretching forever in every direction. That's what we're taught. But when you actually look up at the night sky, something feels wrong. If the universe were truly infinite, the darkness above us shouldn't exist. Every direction should glow with light. Every line of sight should eventually crash into a star. But instead, there is silence. Blackness. Nothing. That darkness is not empty space. It is a boundary. Not the edge of the universe, but the edge of what the universe allows us to see. From where you are standing right now, there is a final horizon. A limit beyond which no image, no signal, no information can ever reach you. Not today. Not in a billion years. That horizon surrounds you completely, in every direction. It forms a perfect cosmic sphere nearly 93 billion light years across. Inside, it exists everything humanity has ever observed. Every galaxy, every star, every atom we know. Outside of it, the universe continues, but it is forever beyond reach. And right here, at the exact center of this visible bubble, is you. Not because you are special, but because every observer in the universe is trapped inside their own cosmic edge. And the fact that this edge exists at all is completely insane. When you look into space, you are not seeing the universe as it is right now. You are seeing history. Light does not travel instantly. It moves at a fixed speed, carrying information across space. The moon appears as it was one second ago. The sun, eight minutes ago. The nearest stars, years in the past. And the most distant galaxies you can see are not just far away, they are ancient, billions of years old. This means the universe reveals itself to us in layers of time. The farther you look, the deeper into the past you peer. Space becomes a time machine, stretching backward toward the moment everything began. But eventually, time runs out. There is a final moment beyond which light has not had enough time to reach us since the birth of the universe. That moment defines the observable universe. The universe itself may be infinite, but what we can observe is not. From Earth, this observable region extends outward roughly 46 billion light years in every direction. Not because light traveled that far on its own, but because space itself expanded while the light was in transit. That expansion changes everything. If space were static and unchanging, the universe would look very different. The night sky would blaze with light, every direction would be filled. But the universe is not static. It is stretching. And as space stretches, it stretches light with it. Light moves as waves. And as the universe expands, those waves are pulled longer and longer. Over enormous distances, visible light is stretched into infrared. Infrared becomes microwave radiation. Eventually, light becomes so stretched that human eyes can no longer detect it. The darkness of space is not the absence of light. It is light that has been stretched beyond visibility. This is why even the most powerful human eyes see blackness. To go further, we had to build machines that could see what we cannot. When scientists developed instruments sensitive enough to detect microwave radiation, they discovered something astonishing. No matter where they looked, north, south, up, down, they detected the same faint signal, a uniform glow filling the entire sky. This signal did not come from stars. It did not come from galaxies. It came from the universe itself. This ancient radiation is known as the cosmic microwave background. It is the first light ever released, the moment when the universe cooled enough for photons to travel freely through space. Before this moment, the universe was an opaque plasma. After it, light was finally able to move. That light has been traveling for 13.8 billion years, and it now marks the edge of our observable universe. But here is where reality breaks down. Because while that light is 13.8 billion years old, it is now more than 46 billion light years away. That should be impossible. According to the laws of physics, nothing can move faster than light. This is not a suggestion. It is a fundamental rule built into space and time itself. So how did light outrun its own age? The answer is unsettling. It didn't. Space did. In the early 20th century, scientists believed the universe was static, eternal and unchanging. But gravity made this impossible. If everything attracts everything else, then the universe should eventually collapse. To solve this, a repulsive force was added into the equations, a pressure inherent to empty space. 
At the time, it was seen as a mathematical trick. Then, astronomers began measuring distant galaxies. What they found changed everything. Galaxies were moving away from us, not just a few, all of them. And the farther away a galaxy was, the faster it appeared to be receding. This was not motion through space, it was space itself expanding. Imagine dots drawn on the surface of a balloon. As the balloon inflates, every dot moves away from every other dot. No dot is the center, yet every dot sees the same expansion. This is what the universe is doing. And it is not slowing down, it is accelerating. The force driving this acceleration is called dark energy. We don't know where it came from, but we know what it does. Dark energy exists everywhere, space exists. And unlike matter or radiation, it does not thin out as the universe expands, it grows stronger. The more space there is, the more dark energy there is to push everything apart. This leads to a terrifying consequence. There are regions of the universe moving away from us faster than light can ever reach. Not because they are breaking the cosmic speed limit, but because space itself is expanding faster than light can travel. Once a region crosses that threshold, it disappears forever. Its light will never reach us. Its history is erased from view. The edge of the universe is not fixed. It is a moving horizon, and over time, it will swallow more of reality. This forces us to rethink the beginning of everything. The Big Bang was not an explosion in space. It was an expansion of space itself. There was no center, no outward blast, no debris flying into emptiness. Every point in the universe was once compressed into an unimaginably hot and dense state. Then, in a fraction of a second, space expanded violently in a process known as cosmic inflation. During this brief moment, regions smaller than an atom were stretched to astronomical scales. Tiny quantum fluctuations became the seeds of galaxies. Slight differences in density became the vast cosmic web of clusters and voids we see today. The universe did not explode outward. It unfolded, and it never stopped. Now, consider what this means for us. We live inside a temporary bubble of visibility, a shrinking window carved out by time and expansion. Everything we see is already old. Everything we will ever see is limited. Beyond the cosmic horizon, the universe continues endlessly, forming stars, galaxies, and structures we will never know existed. No telescope will ever see them. No future civilization will reach them. No signal will ever return. The edge of the universe is not dramatic. It is quiet. It is the moment where information simply stops. And the fact that such a limit exists, built into reality itself, is what makes it truly insane. We are alive at a rare moment in cosmic history, a moment when the universe is still visible, still rich with galaxies, still telling its story. One day, distant observers may look into a nearly empty sky, unaware of how vast the universe once appeared. But right now, we can still see the edge, and beyond that edge, the universe goes on forever, unseen, unreachable, and completely indifferent to our understanding.